I have made you too small in my eyes, oh Lord, forgive me, and I have believed in the lie that you were unable to help me, but now, oh Lord, I see my wrong, heal my heart and show yourself strong. And in my hello and welcome to Uptech IT Solution Center, where I'm going to take you through school-based assessment report as the SBA Tema Report System, and in this lesson. We are going to start everything from scratch. So, there's no need for you to be professional in Excel or Word. We are going to build everything from scratch. So, it is the SBA Thermal Report System class for basic schools. So, before I do, let me create a folder on a desktop and then that folder we are going to keep all our files in that particular folder so let me dive right into it by creating a folder on my desktop so I just right click then go to new then select what folder then I'll name it what SBA Thermal Report System The terminal report system good okay so let's see how to open Microsoft SL so on my start button you click on the start button then I'll just locate what SL 2016 then I'll click on it to open let's wait for it to open you can also pin it on your taskbar and then you click on the taskbar you, you locate the Microsoft SL icon then you just click on it to open so this what I'm having here when you check this side I have what some open hot SL files that's why you are, you are seeing it here yours might not be as what you are seeing here so we have what so many templates in here so it depends on the particular project that you are working on but with this particular tutorial we are going to select what blank workbook so i just click on what blank workbook then wait for it to what, open so this is the blank workbook so we have it here so what I'm going to do is what I'm going to save this particular work on my desktop. So I just click on file. Then I'll go to save as. Then I'll locate our desktop. Then on my desktop I have this folder here, SBA Thermal Report System. I just click on it to open. And then I'll rename this particular file. So I just name it what? SBA Thermal Report. SBA thermal report and then when you come to save as type then I'll click here and then select what enable macro or macro enable workbook so make sure you select that particular what, file extension so as you can see the extension has now changed to what dot xlsm then I'll click on what, save then let me Hide it and see something 
So when you come to this folder, I have it in the folder here. Okay. So let me go to the SL file. So this being the lesson one, we are going to look at how to design the interface or the home page or the dashboard. So the designing depends on you how you want your interface to be. So it's not necessary to do the same as what I'm going to do. All depends on you. So first thing first, I'll rename this sheet. So Microsoft Excel, we have for sheet, but when we, we talk of Word, we have pages and other things. But Excel, we have for sheet. So as you can see, we have for sheet one here. So I just right click on the sheet, then go to rename. Then I'll just name it as what home. So when you are naming it, make sure you check how you do it because uh, when we are creating the student database, it will request the name of the sheet. So make sure you do the same as what I'm doing. So that's the name. If you want to change the color, just right click on it, then tap color. You can select any color of your choice and you are good to go. So in here, this is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to change the color of this word sheet. So I just select the entire uh, cells. Let's say from A to let's say uh, Z. It's okay. Then I'll just so in doing that, this is how you do it. You can just click here, then hold this place, then you drag to this the last one. You can also drag to the bottom. That's one way of doing that. So as you can see, you can hold here and drag to where you want it to be. So let's say I want it to be at where the 40 is. Then I've selected everything. That's one way. You can also click on it like this. Then click on shift. Then your Kesa control key, the right. Then like that to the Z. Okay. Then you press the down arrow key to, to where you want it to be. And you are good to go. So this particular cells that I've selected, I'm going to change the color. So you come to here, we have the make sure you are the home tab. So this we call this what tabs. So we have the uh, the file tabs, the home tab, insert tab, page layout tab, formula tabs, uh, data tab, review, view, developer, and then we have the pivot power. This thing I just added it to it. Yours too, you may not see this. In the course of the training, I will show you how to add those tabs to your tabs. So each one comes with its menus or another options and direct. So when you check the home tab, we have these options. So it is the uh, clipboard group under the home tab. Then we also have the font group under the home tab. Then we have the alignment group under the home tab. Then we have the number group. We have the styles group. We have the source group and then editing group all comes under the home tab good so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the color so i have to start from so a1 so a1 then i'll drag to where the z is then i'll also click here then drag it to 40. It depends on your design so I prefer using 40 in case I need additional one I'll just add it to it okay so I'll just so being at the home tab then we have fill color then we have the test color here please don't select test color but go for hot fill color then you click on it then it will display the colors for you so the choice of the color depend on you so let's see which color should I choose. Okay, I want a nice background color. Okay, let me go for this. No, 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 no. Okay, this 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 okay. Good. So this is the background that I'll do my designs. 
So first thing I'll do is so as I told you earlier on, it depends on you. So I have to add certain things to this particular source. So I'll start with uh, so a a three or oh, let, let's okay let me come to let's say d3 because i'll add others to uh, a1 and then the others so i'll start with the three in here so what i'm going to do is that's where i'm going to type the name of the screw so let's say uh of tech it solution center let's say that's the name of the screw Okay, then PO box. It's a 13. Location. It's a small case. Then phone number. So it depends on you how you want it to be. Type the phone number. Then what again? Let's say email. And I'll just type what my email there. Okay, so that's my email address. Okay, now I have to increase the font size. So I'll select D3. Then I'll just stretch it to, let's say, M. So after selecting the test, so you select it. Then I'll go to font. Then you change the font size. So let, let me go for uh, okay. I think thirty six is okay. Then I'll just select I'll go to this side then select what merge and center. Then do the same to this and from D to the M then I'll go and merge and center then I'll increase the font size to I think 36 then do the same for this select from D to M then I also merge and center then change the font size to 28 and the same for the phone number from D to M. Then I'll merge and center. Then change the phone size to 26. Then do the same for the email address from D to M. I'll merge and center. Then increase the phone size. So this one I'll go for 20. And we are good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this side a different color. So I'll select up to this place. Then I'll go to fill color. So let me go for this particular deep blue. Then I'll select the test. Then give it what? The test color. I want it to be what? White. Then I'll bold it. Do the same to this. 
right then bold it then select this one too I'll bold it and change it to white do this I'll bold it and let's see if yellow will be okay okay then the email address that one I'll, I'll maintain the font okay so let's see okay this particular color is good okay let me go to insert I want to insert some shapes then add some button to that particular shape so before I do that let me come to this side so I'll be at where uh, let's say at the eye okay I will insert a shape over there so let, let me do this first I'll go to shape and I'll go and select what this particular shape and I'll draw it over here and let me send it down let me extend it put it here good then I'll change the color which color should I go for so I'll, I'll go for shape fill I prefer this color then let me do some editing so shape effect now go to preset and let's see okay this particular effect is okay now and let's see go to shape effect again then I'll go to bevel and let me select this let me try this one okay this one too is okay let me drop it down a little then I'll go to shape again so insert shape this time around I'll go for this triangle then I'll draw it to get something like this so this one too I'll go to shape effect then I'll go for that particular color I want it to be one color then I'll apply this shape effect good then I'll go to bevel then choose this particular one and I'm going to go so what I'm going to do is I'll just click on this then press on the control key press on this one too then make sure you are the format where the format is you see what group and you, you click on the drop down and you select what group to make it what one so I have to do it again I didn't select it so I'll just select this select this one too and go to group let me group it and see again so I have this click on this then format and group so let me drag it and see good now it has been what grouped okay so let's see if I can apply some changes to it so let's say shape outline uh, the weight we go for this particular weight then change the shape outline color so as I told you earlier on the choice of color depend on you okay let me go for this particular yellow so what am I going to do to this particular shape so let me go to insert again uh, I need some shape 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 okay let me go for this and I'll drag it here place it in here then I'll go to shape effect then preset then I'll go for the preset 4 and 
and let's see bevel okay this one is not bad so what I'm going to do to this particular button here is to add or a test to it so I just right click in here then select what edit test then I'll say SBA SBA terminal report system good and now I need to increase the font size so I just select the test then go to the home click on the home button then change the font to 16 is okay then I'll just center it and let me increase it again you see 18 and then I'll do it and this one is okay now and let me extend it it's okay so this particular button I'll just change the color I'll go to format then shape fill okay let me maintain this color and see So as I told you, it's not necessary to do the same as I'm doing. So it all depends on you. Okay, now I need some buttons in here. So I just go to insert, then select shapes. Then which shape should I go for? Let me go for this particular one. Then I'll draw. I'll draw it nicely like this. Then right click inside. Then go to edit test, then I'll say what home. So anytime you hit on that particular button, then it should take you to the home page. Then I'll go to I'll go to home. Then I'll just click on what center alignment. Click on board. Then increase the font size a little bit. So this is my home button. Then let me go in for shape effect. Okay, something like this. And let me try the bevel. So it all depends on you. I think this one is okay. Then I change the shape fill. In this particular green is okay then I'll just create copies of this button here so control C to copy control V to paste place one here then I'll just click on it and then change it to what A hide tools or let show tools so I just write show tools Now extend it. Good. Then I'll just create a copy of this. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Then this time round, I'll just uh, write hide tools. Okay, so I'll change this color. So shape so go for this. Then the hide tools. You I'll go for which color? Okay, let me go for this. 
So we, we will create macros for this three buttons here. So whenever you click on the show tools, the, these tools over here will be shown. If you want to hide them, you can click on the hide tools to hide everything in here. Okay. So now it's up to us for us to add the various buttons. So in here, I'll just be at where, let's say, uh, I'll be on the C. Then I'll just write what. Okay, I'll leave this place, but I'll give it a color. Because I'll use it for something. So I'll go to shape color, then make it what? Yellow. Then I'll increase the size. Okay, this size is okay. 36 is okay. Then what I'm going to do in here is to what? Right and direct total mill. So I'll write here what total mill. Total mill. And what I'm going to do is I'll just select the D and C. I'll merge and center the two. Then increase the font size. I think 18 is cool. So I'll just select the D and then D and the C and D, sorry. Then I'll do the same. I'll merge and hot center. And we're good to go. So this particular so I just give it a color. So the test color, let me make it red and see. Okay, then I'll just select what bold. This one too, I can select what can bold it. So anytime I enter a test into it, the test will be bolded. Okay, so that's the total mail. Then I'll do the same. So now we have what B and D. So I'll leave one cell and then go to uh, F and J, then I'll just merge it, merge and center it, and give it a different color. So this one to let me see. Okay, this green is okay. Then I'll do the same here. I'll merge F and J. So I'll select it, merge and center. Then in here to our right or total female. Total female. Then I'll increase the font size to 18. Then I'll bold it. So let me reduce it. Okay. And then I'll also leave one cell. Then come to I, I and hot J. I'll also merge and center it. Then change the color to red. Then down here. I also merge I and J. Then merge and center. So in here too, I write what? Uh, total students. So let me shorten it. Total ST, uh, total students. Then I'll increase the font size to 18. Then I'll bold it. Good. So let me bold this one too. Here too. I'll bold it. Let's check this one. This one is already. And now I'll come to this side. Down here. Then I'll select from D. That's D12 to F12. Then I'll merge and center. Then I'll write what? Let's say 2021. 2021 slash 
then down here let me increase the font size and make it 20 20 is cool then I'll bold it then I'll merge the 13 and then the 12 and 13 I'll merge them so I'll merge and center then I'll come to this side so if you check this alignment this one will send it to the top but I want it to be in the middle so I'll just select the middle one then under right I'll just select from D to G then I'll merge and center it then right under right what academic here then I'll increase the font size then I'll load it so in here I can give it this one a color and this one too like this it's cool then I'll select from A15 up to let's say B and I'll drag it to the down so this one too I'm going to give it a different color because I'm going to add buttons there so I'll just go for this color so which buttons am I going to add so I don't want to waste my time so I just copy this control C to copy control V to paste and bring it here then what we are going to do we are going to do for the VHS so I just write what semester one report semester one report you get something like this then control C to copy control V to paste and this one will be what semester two report Control V to paste again. Then this one will be what? Semester three report. Send it to the top. A little. Do the same. Then select this one too. Do the same. Means I have to extend this one too so let's see control V to paste again and this one will be what semester 4 control V to paste again semester 5 control V to paste again semester 6 so if you are doing it for primary school, means you have term 1, term 2, term 3, term 4, term 5. But primary school, you know, class 1 is up to uh, term 1 to term 3. Then class 2, term 1 to term 3. So you have to do it for each particular class. But for the JHS, they are running a uh, semester system. So let's see. Yes, let's see. Then come to this side. And change the color to what to match the others good now I have my buttons here which later on to add macros to it and then assign hyperlinks to them okay so I have my report here then I also come to this side let me come here control me to paste but this one I'll just write on it
okay let me leave this but i'll use it for different so let me come to this side so later on i'll, I'll come and do it so in here what i'll do is i'll just edit so i'm going to write let's say english 71 so semester one english then i'll create copies ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste then english semester two that's semester two english ctrl v to paste semester three english Control V to paste again. So semester four. Control V to paste once again. I have semester five. Control V to paste once again. I have semester what? six. So this is for English. And then you have to do the same for the other subjects, depending on the particular level that you are working on. So if you are working with the JHS, JHS they are doing, others are doing eight subjects, other seven or nine. So what I'm going to do is I will leave the rest for you. I don't want the video to be too lengthy. So I'll just leave the rest for you to create the other copies for the, the other subjects. So this is for English, then you have mathematics and the others. So I'll just leave it for you to create copies. So we'll meet in our next lesson and then continue with this particular project. So thank you for your time. Meet another time.